Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm a yoga teacher and teacher trainer with Y Yoga. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at a pose, a delicious pose called Pigeon Pose. So Pigeon Pose is a wonderful position that stretches the glutes and the outer hips. So if you are a biker, a runner, a hiker, a jogger, this is gonna be a really great pose for you to do to stretch all of that stuff out. One thing to note, Upright pigeon or active pigeon looks a little bit like this, but the pose that we're going to explore today is a forward folding pigeon, which looks something like this. Now the poses are very different, um, and the pose that we're going to look at today is more of a relaxing pose, it's more of a stretching pose, and it's the one that targets the outer hip. One thing to note, if you feel any sensation in your knee, then come out back off. We don't wanna feel anything in the knee. We wanna target all of that sensation all the way to the hip. Also, keep in mind, you may not know this, but everybody's uh, hip sockets and the shape of their pelvis is different. So the way that those bones fit together is different in every single person. That means that your pigeon pose may look totally different than the person who's next to you, their pigeon pose. So just know that pigeon pose can be very unique to your own shape and structure, and you might wanna choose one of these different modifications to best suit your body. So let's look at it. I like to start off pigeon pose by bringing one shin parallel to the front of my mat, and I really just let the other leg kinda of hang out wherever is comfortable behind me. If your shin is parallel to the front of your mat, then you can go ahead and flex your ankle a little bit to help the ankle lift up just for a little bit of engagement. From here, we would start by forward folding over that front leg. But you might find that, oh my gosh, you really can't get into that pose or that this hip really wants to lift off the floor. Well, if that's the case, don't worry. Just grab a pillow, grab a bolster, grab a block, and you can support your outer right hip with a prop if that makes the shape a little bit easier for you. Just make sure that you are having something underneath your hip because we want the, the pelvis to be supported so that those muscles can really let go and also to put the weight into your pelvis rather than directing any weight into your knee. So let's say you're here and you start forward folding and you feel like, oh, this is okay, but I'm feeling a lot of stickiness or compression through the front of your hip. Remember, everybody's pelvis is a little bit different, so you can explore. Bring your knee a little bit more towards the center, see what happens there. Bring your knee a little wider, see what happens there. The shape of your hip socket may just really like to forward fold in a slightly different position. Now, if you do bring your heel back so that the top of your shin and the top of your foot is on the floor, then rather than flexing the foot, go ahead and point it because we want the shin to be in a nice long line in order to protect the knee. So once you've come down and found your happy place here, then you can relax. You can get a, a block or a bolster and chill out and really marinate in this stretch. For some of you who have a lot of external rotation in your hips, a lot of mobility there, you may even start to send this leg a little bit further back. So that's not doing anything fancy or advanced, but what it does is by dropping this hip down, you increase the external rotation, you increase the stretch on your front thigh. So it's just an option for you to explore if you have a little bit more mobility in your body. And then once you're here, you can enjoy breathing into the stretch and remembering again, any sensation in the knee, we don't want that, so come on out, readjust the pose, find a better position for your body. And if you can't get comfortable in a forward folding pigeon, don't worry. One other great option is to do thread the needle on your back or figure four pose. So when I come down, I cross my ankle over my knee and I draw this into my chest. As you can see, this is pretty much the same shape of pigeon pose, except for because I'm on my back, it's a bit easier and more accessible in terms of my relationship to gravity. So there you go, pigeon pose for stretching your outer hips. I hope you like it. 